Hello everyone, today I wanted to talk to you about music school. Now I attended Berklee College of Music about eight years ago and I graduated with a degree in jazz guitar performance and a minor in music theory. So I've had a lot of time in the last eight or maybe nine years, eight or nine years, I'm getting old. I've had a lot of time to reflect on my experience there and my time at Berklee. I've also had a lot of time to talk to other music students, a lot of my peers, and I've really come down to a couple interesting points that I wanted to share with you about music school, what the experience was like attending, and what life was like post-grad. So how much my degree has helped me and not helped me in the last eight years. And I hope to bring up some points that might help you if you are deciding right now, should I go to music school? Do I not need to? Should I skip it? Do I have to go? Right? I want all these questions to be answered because I know when I was young in high school and it was time to apply to colleges, I was absolutely freaking out and I was like, if I don't, if I don't go to Berkeley or if I don't go to a music school, my life is over, my career is over, I'm never going to be a successful musician and I'm going to be a failure. And I know that feeling and how it's terrifying and gut-wrenching and fully consuming that feeling can be, so I want to ease everyone's minds, it's going to be okay. Let's dive in. First, I want to start by sharing a little bit of my experience with my time at Berkeley and what that was like, right? Now, the number one thing, and you hear this all the time, is there is always a really good sense of community at these schools. And community as a musician is one of the most important things because your community is going to support you and is ultimately going to lift you up and support your music career, right? No one no one in music has done it themselves fully alone without collaboration. And I would say music is one of the strongest fields where you need a community to really succeed and to take yourself and everyone else to the next level. So obviously music schools have built-in communities, right? Everyone attending music school, almost everyone, I assume, has a deep burning passion for music, wants to get better, wants to learn. So it's a good place to be, right? You're surrounded by like-minded people who are driven, who are hardworking, who want to get better. So that environment, that competitive environment, really puts you head down in the game. Like when I was at music school, I was a huge freaking nerd. I literally went to maybe two, two college parties the entire time I was there because the community was so intense. Like everyone was better than me. So I just always felt the need to be practicing and working harder and you know, every Friday, Saturday night, I was just in my room practicing jazz standards. Like that was my whole life. Um, and I don't know that I would have had that level of drive or intention with getting better, quote unquote, if I wasn't in that environment. So the community was really great. It also exposes you, <coughs> excuse me, to so many different kinds of music and different kinds of art. You know, when I went into school, I was really focused on classical guitar and a little bit of jazz like I was curious about jazz but I was nowhere near playing jazz or being remotely conversational in the language right quick side note it would mean the world if you checked out my website the donutdoctormusic.com which is home to all of my guitar lessons master classes homework assignments uh, original songs with tabs literally everything there's an entire music business section with conversations like this you can also book private lessons and so much more I'll see you there so it really opened my eyes stylistically, as well as showed me other aspects of music that I never really even thought of, right? There was music production, there was songwriting, there was film scoring, like you were around all of these other kind of lanes in music, right? I went there like as a guitar player, I'm like, I play guitar and I'm going to be the best guitar player. That was my lane. But then I also kind of wet my palate with all these other experiences that I honestly wouldn't really have had any exposure to and wouldn't have fully known about, right? Like, yes, we know people write the music for movies and stuff, but it's one thing to just have that thought and it's one thing to go into a room in a studio where someone is literally scoring a film, right? And and having that experience. So again, community is really, really strong. Um, I mainly chose Berkeley because when I was touring different music schools, I just liked the general community there. It seemed more accepting and more open to different styles of music. Um, as opposed to some conservatories, which are like, we do the classical thing or we do the jazz thing, right? I liked that Berkeley had an eclectic kind of student body and there was no real like, yes, it's a jazz school, but 
you can also do pop there. You can do soul music, right? You can really pick any lane you want. Um, and that was what was most attractive about it for me. Another thing that I really liked about Berkeley is the faculty. Now, here's the interesting spin, right? Anyone can teach you music. Like if you're learning music theory, it's all the same. You could go to a community college, you could take private lessons, you could go to Berkeley. It's, it's still the same material, right? It's like a driving school. Think of it like that. You can go to the best F1 driver, NASCAR driver, take lessons from him, or you can go to your local driver's ed and it, they're going to teach you how to drive, right? Maybe one has a couple of other little tricks up its sleeve, but more or less it's the same information and you can learn that stuff absolutely anywhere. Now that being said, the faculty at Berkeley is absolutely out of this world. Specifically, some of the guitar professors there really changed my entire life. I got to study with Mick Goodrick, with Tim Miller, Cheryl Bailey, Tomo Fujita, so many other just incredible, amazing players who really helped me find my sound and shape my whole sense of musicality. So here's the thought. Yes, Berkeley is amazing. The facilities are great. The community is amazing. The faculty is awesome, right? All, all top tier stuff. After about, you know, eight or nine years post-grad, I've had a lot of time to think about this and I get a lot of private guitar students coming to me online. By the way, if you want to take a guitar lesson with me, click the link below. Here's what I found. Click the link below and we can set one up or you can subscribe to my website and get access to all of my guitar lessons. More on that later. Um, but what I was saying, you know, basically a lot of people come to me and they're like, hey, do I need to go to music school to get better? And it's like, when I think about my whole college experience, like four years at one of the best music schools, I really learned 90% of what I know in my private lessons or playing with other musicians. The rest is all kind of just an orbiting satellite. It's kind of just like far out there. I could have done it anywhere, right? I can learn music theory anywhere. I don't have to learn it at Berklee College of Music. It doesn't mean I'm going to learn more music theory by going to a university or a college, right? So a lot of the times when people are really on the fence, I'm like, man, if I could go back in time, I obviously wouldn't change anything because every experience that I had led me to where I am today and I'm very happy with where I'm at right now. But if I could go back in time, I would just go, I would go live in Boston and I would just take private lessons four times a week with one of these professors, right? Like if, if I would have had four years of taking three or four guitar lessons a week with Tim Miller and Mick Goodrick, I would probably be like fucking amazing at guitar because those, you know, 30 minute, 45 minute lessons, hour lessons, I don't even remember how long they were. Those were like biting gold off of a gold mine. It was just, it was just always so, so beneficial. Like, I don't think I ever had a single lesson that I walked away and I was like, cool, I didn't learn anything today. I guess I'm just gonna go practice whatever, right? And the interesting thing here is, obviously this is gonna be different for everyone depending on their goals, right? Like, if you just wanna be a guitar player, that might be a really fast-tracked way to become one of the best, right? But if you're not quite sure, and this is, this is my point on music school, if you're not 100% sure on what you want out of music school, going to music school is amazing. Even if you just go for one or two semesters, because Again, you're being surrounded by all these different walks of life with people with these different interests, right? There's a whole music business section. There's a whole film scoring, production, songwriting, right? The music therapy, like so many other things that you might not know that you would be interested in. So I always encourage people to look at music school as more of a cool, let me find out what other interests in music and what other skills I might have that I maybe haven't uncovered myself solely by playing the guitar. Or maybe you're a vocalist or a piano player or a saxophone player, right? Whatever instrument you're on, explore other possibilities, right? And that is my biggest takeaway when I think about my college education, you know, eight or nine years ago, and I think of little me running around Boston with my guitar on my back, like, you know, I wish I could just go back and I could be like, it's okay to explore other things, right? Because I was so heavily identified. My identity purely was the guitar. I am a guitar player. That's what I do, right? I wanted to be the absolute best. And again, it's, it's great. It got me to where I am right now and I'm loving life. So 
you know, I can't complain on that. But I think, uh, you know, part of me was almost looking for permission from someone like, you can be a guitar player and you can also experiment with film scoring, or you can be a guitar player, you can also explore other instruments or other areas. Maybe, maybe I wanted to do some music business stuff, but I was like, well, people won't think that I'm good at that because they know I'm a guitar player, right? So don't get too caught up in your identity going into music school. I think if you're planning on going to music school, the whole reason to is to obviously one, get better, but really explore what other skills that you might possess and collaborate with other people and just send it as much as you can, right? So one more major thought here is if I don't go to music school, am I going to fail, right? All these successful people I know went to music school and they have their degree or they went for a little while and they met these people who got them these cool gigs or something, right? Answer is absolutely fucking not. If you don't go to music school a day in your life, you can have just as successful, if not a more successful career as someone with a doctor's degree in music, right? And I've experienced this firsthand living in Los Angeles and working here the last, you know, 10 years. Like, there's some auditions where I would go to where people would be like, are you a Berkeley or Musicians Institute student? And I'd be like, do you, do you want me to be or do you not want me to be, you know? Sometimes there's this weird like stigma around like music school kids like, oh, they're going to be playing like this way. So there's literally been auditions that I've been in where I was like, no, I didn't go to music school. Right. And they're like, cool. Great. We love that. So, you know, it's just it's just funny. Like I have most of the people I look up to in, in my career now, you know, who are great performers, great songwriters, great producers literally never went to music school, ne never went anywhere near music school. They just grew up playing or they grew up writing songs or they grew up interested in music and just harvested their own dreams through music, right? And th and that's kind of, you know, a, an interesting thought that I always grapple with. I'm like, the best players I know and stuff, they just play all the freaking time. You know, they didn't, go to university and study for 20 hours a day, like all these really crazy jazz concepts. They were literally just playing all the time. And that always blew my mind. I was always like, wow, you know, if I could go back in time, I would just play as much as I could and take private lessons playing with the teacher as much as I could, right? It's just a funny thought because, you know, when I was 18, I saw my whole life in front of me and at the time, my life was, if I don't go to Berkeley, I'm going to fail and I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to forget music because I'll never be successful, you know? And that thought is just so, so wrong. I wish I could kind of go back and be like, you can totally do this and this will be badass, but if you don't, you can also succeed at, at the same level, if not more than anyone else who went to music school. So, you know, if you're thinking about it, um, I guess pros, you know, built-in community. You have never in my life have I had f a four-year block where I could literally just practice and didn't have to really worry about much else. Um, great teachers, great faculty. Um, and there's, yes, there are opportunities that you can get out of music school, uh, career opportunities, you know, post-grad. And that's super helpful. It kind of gives you a little bit more of a blueprint or a layout to what a career might look like in music as if you were just kind of self-proclaimed, like, I'm going to go for it. And that was one other thing that was really helpful when I had moved to Los Angeles. I kind of already had a bit of a community, right? I had a, a whole bunch of peers around. And same thing, like, I have friends in New York City, friends in Atlanta, friends in Nashville. And these are all people who I just went to Berkeley with, and now they're kind of all over the place. Um, there's people in London, there's people in France, right? So it's, it, it is cool because it gives you a big community, but on the flip side, also with social media these days, you can also have a very similar community, right? All around the world, everywhere you go, just through social media, because it's such an incredible connection platform, connecting you with other people platform, right? Um, obviously a little bit less direct, you know, when you're seeing these same people and you have ear training class with them five days a week, you have a bit of a different connection than like an online friend. But I will say the amount of like online connections that I've made 
in Los Angeles that have translated to like real world career opportunities may or may not be at the same or outweigh my in-person like Berkeley community. Actually, it probably outweighs it to be completely frank. Um, so again, you don't have to go to music school. I loved my experience at Berkeley. It was great. I learned so much about life and guitar and music and myself. And it did give me the confidence to be like, cool, I can do this, right? And I think that's personally what I needed at the time. But if you're feeling confident and you kind of have a, an idea of where you want to go and uh, a path to follow and you have discipline, that's probably the number one thing. If, you, if you're not attending a school where you're schedule is like music 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 you know just work your ass off and you're gonna be fine like there's no there's no rule book in music that's the great thing right it's not like we're like a doctor or a nurse you have to go to school you have to do your intern whatever and then you apply and then they give you a job with a salary and benefits and they're like this is gonna be your job for a year right we just kind of go in and are like i play music like let's go <laughs> so, um just something to consider. Don't take it too seriously. Life is not serious. It's especially if you're a musician. So I hope this conversation was helpful in some way to someone. Uh, please like and subscribe this video. It helps me tremendously. And I'll see you next time.